Now, before I go on to the next topic here in InDesign, I forgot to explain one last thing on that uh, previous tutorial. So I'm gonna go back to File and Open. In Chapter 2, I'm gonna open up number zero again. We'll open up this InDesign file because I forgot to show you how to put a photo in here. You know, we have a graphics frame and I have a photo, I just didn't put it in. So here's the thing you gotta be aware of. If I have drawn a graphics frame, I'm basically telling InDesign, this is how big I want my photo to be, this is where I want my photo to be. I can click on it with my black arrow, but just always remember, you cannot go to file and open because that will only open an InDesign file. I'm trying to get the photo. Okay, so the way you're gonna place photos onto the page in InDesign is File Menu and Place, not File and Open. File, Place, or Command D for a document. And now I can come down to my InDesign Tutorials, Chapter 2, Folder 0, and there's my Photoshop file. So when I open that, it's going to launch it right into that container. Now keep in mind, I don't see the entire photo. He's kind of getting cut off. Okay, so you can draw a small container and try to force a large photo into that. It's not necessarily going to work. Photos come in from their upper left corner. So just be aware of that. There's a whole chapter on placing photos. I just wanted to throw this in here. So we will talk about how to more successfully deal with your photos later. The main thing is you can't go to file and open photos. You have to go to file to place photos. Okay, he's cut off, but I'll show you later how to fix that. So I'm gonna close this up again. I don't need to save it. And let's just go right back to file and open. In my InDesign tutorials for chapter two, I'll go to folder number one, InDesign Frames. Here we go. So now you can see I've shown you the difference between three types of frames or containers or boxes, whatever you want to call them again. Anything that has an X is waiting for me to put a photo into it like I just showed you or an Illustrator file, whether it's a logo or a full illustration, those are graphics frames. If you draw a box and you do not see the X, that's because I drew it with my rectangle tool. This one is waiting for me to fill it with just color, not a photo. Okay, this one right here is a text frame. Kind of hard to tell the difference between these two. So here's what you gotta look out for. How can you tell the difference? If I select a shape frame, it just has all these nodes for resizing the frame. And if I click once on my type tool, nothing's gonna happen, okay? If I select a text frame, you'll notice one big difference. Let me select this again and show you. Notice when I select this, we have the nodes on every four corners top, bottom, left, and right. But when I select this, notice we have an entry point in the upper left and an exit point in the lower right or near the lower right. Because people read from upper left down to lower right. It also has an O for text. Okay, we don't have that O here. And that's the main difference. You're gonna see an entry and an exit point. You'll also notice if I click once with my type tool and click, now I have a flashing cursor. It's waiting for me to start entering text. But even if I don't, I can still tell the difference because there's an entry and an exit and an O, where here I don't have the entry, I don't have the exit, and I don't have the O. Okay, the only other difference is if I hit the letter W for preview, notice all the frames are now gone, so I don't have to look at those boxes. The boxes aren't going to print, 
they're just there to show me where I have drawn boxes. Because obviously, there's a whole box sitting here and I can't see it. There's a whole box for type sitting here and I can't see it. So that's when you're starting to block in shapes on your page. You're starting to block in areas where you want your text frames to go, where you want to eventually put graphics and photos. But if you don't paint outlines on them like this, they're going to disappear on your page. So that's why you hit W. So you are not in preview mode. Okay, this shows me my outline mode where I can see all the physical structures. If I hit W, this is called preview. This is what I would get if I were to print this sheet of paper right now. There are no boxes around my type that are set to print. They're just boxes to hold the type on the page. So keep that in mind. W is for preview. Turns it on and it turns it off. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you here is W for preview and the difference between a shape frame and a text frame that has an entry and an exit point. That's it. I'll see you in the next video.